video number four on this PowerShell 2023 stuff and things. Um, I'm going to probably put a thing up here to get to the whole playlist. All my PowerShell stuff. Anyways, going through, we left off at set Citrix prefix. Again, I will go over that one in a future video. That one was fairly intense for myself and um, it did some cool things, but uh, we'll go over that another time. All right, what else we got? Ooh, we got entry key. All right, temp, uh, I don't know, temp folder. Uh, probably messing around trying to archive files through a, a script. I don't know, new archive. Let's let's take a look. Let's see what this is. Oh yeah, so here you're defining the archive path and example. I was just testing out. It's probably part of a whole nother process, another script. But um, this is just a rename and archive files. Yep. So, all right, and new error trap. No idea. Probably learning, testing, <laughs> something bad happened, glad that it was over. Yeah, you get bored when you're, you keep like testing out stuff and you want to write your own little warnings and, and comments and stuff. So, all right, what else we got? Test, try, catch. I was just learning stuff. All right, enough of that one. Token privilege, no idea. Don't remember. Oh, there's a website link for it. And let's just take a look to the privilege to adjust. This, uh, uh yeah i'll probably just delete this thing no idea i'll just leave it there for now uh what else we got update ad display name probably something to do with the um update ad stuff from paycom so the hr to ad integration or automation however you want to call it it's probably something to do with that uh stuff and things yeah, for each user and all users, clear variable is duplicate. Uh, yeah, we can go over this more in detail later if you or anybody wants to. Otherwise, let's keep going. WSUS, no idea why I have this in here. Remove WSUS deadline. Mm, oops. Use to remove all or past deadlines from WSUS. Name of the remote server. Set to true, he's okay. So I guess if there was a deadline configured for um, an update or a patch, maybe it'll remove it. I don't recall, but it's there. What else? Hopefully someone finds value in these um, half-ass videos. I'm just kind of breezing through these things. and <laughs> breezing, I just, anyways. Check Breeze Suite backups. There was a system called Breeze Suite. And they had some problems way back when with backups, and it was hard to tell if they were done or not. And then um, I don't want to show it because I think there's an email address in there for a user. They're probably not even there anymore. But basically what it do is it would check every day if a backup was made because it was a manual backup process from the end user side of things. And if they didn't do it, it would send an email to them and their manager saying, hey, <laughs> no backup was created. Please make sure to create one. Uh, check free space. I don't know. Let's check it out. Oh, let's get rid of this junk. Get rid of this junk. And this one. So, putting into a variable um, from the get ad computer command lit. Saying all of them with all the properties. Now it's going to run slower. So hopefully you can just pick out the properties you really want. Um, Basically, I was probably testing it out for all the servers within a certain OU or something. But, um, yeah, there's that. Clear IE cache. Obviously, we're not using IE these days, but uh, there were some problems where uh, a lot of the systems, because of the EMR we were using at the time, uh, IE's cache need to be cleared all the time. Not all the time, but enough to, to do something about it. So this just made our lives a little easier. Um, and uh, yeah, probably never be used again unless you wanted to do something for uh, other browser caches. It may be, be similar, but convert host names to IPs. I don't know, it's just something we were messing around with probably. Oh, for printers, probably during one of the printer projects. And um, we needed to list out all the printer IPs 
from a list of printers for each printer printer's address. Yeah. So next one up, copy AD user. I don't know why, but we did something there. Um, so we've added some parameters and we have an old user we want to copy from. And then the new username probably. Yep, new username. And this is a, and this, I don't know if I wrote this or if somebody else wrote this at work and they just wanted to um, streamline their process as well. And there might be something in here that also, I don't know, we'd have to look through it. But if anybody's interested in that, let me know. And what else we got? Create scheduled job test. Oh, yes. At some point, I wanted to be able to PowerShell script um, creating my scheduled tasks. I feel like I've used it before a couple times, but it's just easier to go in the web, or not the web GUI, but the GUI itself and and pop them in there. Community Works, Launch, BB script, he has one. Oh, this is probably when I was trying to get the Citrix stuff to work. It's not just the Citrix stuff that I, have, I was scripting. It was three different pieces of software at the same time. It was very complicated. <laughs> so I think this was part of them when I was trying to um, automate some of this stuff. But um, all right. All right. Disable unused AD accounts. I think this is just one process of uh, coming up with some automation. Look at that function name. Not function name, but look at those comments. And main function, yo. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I was just testing out, trying to auto-disable users and stuff, but there's that. Export printer info. Let's take a look. Script create Excel spreadsheet with de detailed information about the printers installed on the server, uh, etc. Okay, we got it off the internet. Giving them keep giving people credit when they write their write a, write something and you're using it. Please keep the credit in there, especially if you need to revert back to something and you need to call contact them or something. They'll help you out, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, so this one gives you all kinds of details of printers. What else? Get build date, probably the build of the OS. Uh, Yep, Win32 using WMI operating system and the install date. Um, just to give you an idea, let's just see if we can run one of these right now. Since I haven't done squat with that yet, uh, let's use regular old PowerShell. Let's just pop it in there. Nope, see that? Check it out. Probably because um, I don't have a computer name in there. So let's go like this and do localhost. Yeah, that's why you should never just run a command without actually reading through it. So this build date was Wednesday, December 13th at 10.43 a.m. The build date of this Windows VM that I'm running. Pretty cool. All right, so let's stop there at git build date, and we will continue on in a little bit.